Every district, a great district. Party, I believe we are acknowledged. Is also in the creative arts industry because he's a creative politician. Please put your hands together for Dr. Mukabe. Undoubtedly and arguably the most creative vice president in this country has seen. So he is one of you. He is a colleague. Please, let's acknowledge him. I would, at this juncture, invite Mr. Kwesi Otey to give us the opening prayer. Please. We employ very high numbers of people. Uh, and in terms of economic growth for a, a developing country such as Ghana, uh, it's very clear that we, these are sectors that we really need to pay attention to if we are going to deal with the issues of economic growth and job creation. They are really growth poles. Unfortunately, over the years, um, they, these are sectors where there has been really a lot of underinvestment in over the years. And like with everything else, if you don't invest if you don't sow and you don't nurture, you cannot harvest of anything of significance. And so I think that as I think forward about what we do in this sector, it's very important that we sow and we nurture before we can harvest from the sector. What is very clear uh, and that is established is that we have a huge talent pool in the creative arts sector for Ghana. And God has also given us a lot of um, sun, and beaches, and other, um, you know, tourist sites in, in this country that we can also leverage on for tourism. So it's very, very important, therefore, that for any government, we need, we need to recognize, and I think our government has, has, I mean, you've seen some of the investments that we have been making over the last few years. Uh, we've recognized that it's important that we recognize even more the importance of investing in the creative arts and in tourism. So we are going to commit a significant uh, public sector investment to support the development of the creative arts and tourism in our country because I believe that the returns to that investment in terms of job creation is so so much better and so big if I put say a hundred million dollars worth uh, of investment in a room and I put a hundred million dollars worth of investment in the creative arts sector I'm telling you that the returns will be higher in the creative arts sector much much higher 
and you will build a lot more, create a lot more jobs and so on. And when you look at the sort of investments that we, we make annually, uh, and then you look at what we put into the creative arts sector, it's very, very uh, minimal in that context. So I want to make a commitment to a significant public sector investment in the creative arts and, and tourism, and also bringing in uh, the financial muscle of the Development Bank of Ghana, which was established uh, a few years ago uh, at the antenna to implement a special financing and guarantee support for the sector to support the creation of jobs in this area. And I think it's very, very important that we get the financial system involved in supporting the sector. Uh, and, and that is what I intend to do. What is also, and what has been clear to me uh, in my interaction with many of you, in the music area and also in the film area, where we face a problem for our musicians here. There's a lot of talent, our actors and so on, there's a lot of talent, no doubt, but there's a problem in the monetization of the talent. That is the, the, the problem. How do we monetize the talent? You make a good song, and we all dance to it, and sing it all over the place. Um, but as we enjoy all of that music, or watch all of those films, the payments that are supposed to go to the creators <coughs> don't take place. And so, whilst on the one hand, we, we are in the public, I enjoy all of this creativity, um, that the musicians and the actors uh, are not getting paid. And so, that talent is not getting monetized. And so you can see that we could play your song uh, and then keep playing it across the radios and all of that. But then you end up poor, nonetheless, uh, in your old age. And so this has been a major issue. And, and we've had uh, a lot of discussions with Gamu on how we can make sure we can monetize and monitor and monetize this talent. The other uh, area that we uh, have been talking about over the last couple of years has been the streaming platforms for music. If you uh, look at it, and I know all the musicians here know this, Ghana doesn't, we don't own a, a, a streaming platform, look at it for music. So all the streaming platforms like Spotify and so on are all externally owned. And so when we put our music on those platforms, it's not surprising that the, the returns in terms of the payments that are made to our musicians are very little. Very little. Uh, and there are not much to write home about in, in general. And so the issue for, for us of making sure we have a, a streaming platform locally uh, for music uh, and put in all the catalogs from, from A to Z that we can find in Ghana on the platform. So that has been something that has needed uh, to be done for, for a long time. And so we've been uh, working on this issue, uh, music camera, the music producers, and the private sector, the IT sector. We've been trying to, over the last couple of years, see about putting together a music streaming platform, a uh, digital uh, platform for Ghanaian content developers in the creative arts, as I said, to facilitate the tracking, collection, and distribution 
of royalties in the first place and also to enable creativeness, assess and manage revenue and also to help man maximize opportunity. He's quite a talkative, so he was talking when they were bringing in the mic, so I spoke him attention. But um, on a more serious note, Your Excellency, uh, I would like to personally say thank you very much for calling us here. And one very important thing is that most of us don't get to see each other because of how our schedules are. So it's very difficult to find ourselves together under one roof like this. But for this very important um, occasion, I believe everybody made it a point to be here under 48 hours, and I must commend us all. Um, also, uh, I would like to say that my personal experience as an artist, I'm coming from analog all the way down to digital. So I'm excited today to have someone like you talk digital to, to, to my understanding. So I understand that people like you in your office are on the same page with us when it comes to trying to move from analog to digital. So if a person like you is speaking about streaming platforms as against somebody in your uh, position asking me about what a streaming platform is, then I believe we are in better days. So I'm just going to commend you. I'm just going to commend you for how um, um, learned you are in that aspect, in that area. And as Mr. Digital, if you are going to take creative arts as part of the things that you are going to digitalize, then I am happy to hear how you are going to do it. Thank you very much. Well, you know, I'm so glad to be here, but. Uh, Initially, I didn't want to come here though, but I have this big problem that I feel um, we can work it out together. You know, I've been watching your campaigns, you know, and you talking about creating jobs, and I can see your slogan that says, to lead is to solve, you know, and I'm actually here to just tell you about this whole great people that we have here. Maybe we might be in this room like this, but the people that made us who we are are not in this room. And those are the fans. Your Excellency, I have been on the streets as a ghetto boy. And from the ghetto, now nah, these are these more pockets. So. Yeah. But most of the times when I'm on the streets, I see these boys at the traffic lights, you know, some of them you go to the zoo, you know, all of them. And I sometimes wonder if a government wants to come into power, like if you want to be my president. I want to understand how well you communicate to these people on the streets. Because these are the fans that, you know, support all of us here. But sometimes when I watch them, I feel like, what is government putting in place for people like this? Because, you know, when they hear, oh, um, we have the mining sector, you know, creating jobs for, we have the um, agriculture sector, these boys on the streets even find it difficult to be in that kind of uniform to even go and apply for a job. These are boys that don't have any hope. So sometimes we the celebrities suffer. I know some people bear with me, Kwame Eugene here, you know, Pampika here, you know, you go out and hear them, oh, boys, boys, German, something small. And that is why sometimes people like us want to share what we have with them. So I want to know what you have for our fans out there. And that's the street. And you guys see, I'll plead, I'll please plead with you that you see, when you want to, you know, respond to what I'm saying for today, and there's people out there on the streets, just say it's pitching small for me. <laughs> Where are the politics? The thing with it. They my heart, you know. It be the people, the people that are where they suffer for the country. It be where they my heart. Me, I be patron of lepers eat Ghana. Eat the lepers, we they eat, we they drink, because I they want help lepers in Ghana. Me, I be farm laborer before, by day worker, I be taxi driver before, 
and be cleaner before. Yeah. So I say I know how people they suffer before. So uh, where you see me a day, a patron also of Mother Teresa's soup kitchen, Christ the King Church, looking after street children. Me the Father Capra, when they do that sort of work. So my heart, it day the street. The thing where they do all, say, half of you help the people. So, one of the things where you may see, say, okay, in a free education come, it may help. Digitalization to be help plenty. Because when you do your mobile phone talk, you know, nobody can ask you, Brian. You don't have to know anybody. You know, so. you know, if you apply for anything, they will be better. Right on your mobile phone. Okay. So digital, it, 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 it help everybody. You know this one. It, it, me, I come to me, I say, the thing we are going to do, we are going to help everybody. Uh, so, since Shata has made me speak pigeon English. possible you are coming. Yes. I know you are coming. He's already there. Uh, when uh, it got the time, hey. said, and you to follow it, move forward. You didn't know what you are doing. Until the best reason, I will try and move you at all. So, you are going to move through age way, and now you move it through age way. Oh, my day through age way. Kabia man to be able to see and I have been trusting Kabia to a pension pay at least. Obi Aria Omar Bonte MS Wrestling and say, We saw that you go to your support and do him a lawyer. Send the way up, Obi Trump and Bobia to her. You are only 70 years, 60 years. Be a man to be able to see and I have been trusting Bobia Mawa at least a kind of. Shata, I hope you agree with me. Bless you. At least have the revenues that are due them, the royalties that are due them, that they will end up being poor. But if we implement these new uh, platforms as the president uh, for, for music I was saying, if we implement the login platforms and everything, Gamro gets all these revenues and so on, uh, the royalties for the artists, then you are able to contribute to your own patients under the tier two patient plan and you won't depend on anybody. So let's get the money for the for the artists and the musicians and the actors and the, I think we will take care of that. Uh, and I so my father. I think I have a number of the six point nine. And the running mate for Ghana Freedom Party. Yes, yeah. Mr. President, in case uh, we don't win, and we win, please, we might have some paradise. We might have some paradise. In case we don't win, and we win. The question is very simple. Please, I'm on the floor. Future interview. Incoming Vice President, please. Yeah, so he says it's in case we don't win and you win, Rema is in paradise. My question is very simple. What is your government? Hmm? 
going to do to leverage upon the employment potential of the sector. Thank you very much. For sure. <laughs> you know, but I think that what you ended on a very good note talking about the employment potential of this industry. Look, this is when you took, take the creative arts and tourism, this is where you can create the most jobs. Uh, it's very clear. And so, again, if we invest properly in this sector, the creative arts and tourism will get a lot of jobs created. And, then, and this is why we have to finish all these theaters that we are talking about. We have to do the streaming. We have to do all the investment. But I, as I keep saying, I believe that, you know, $100 million, $200 million invested in the creative arts industry really can yield us billions uh, in terms of wealth. So I want us to invest in this sector. I'm committed that I'm going to champion the creative arts industry as president of the Republic of Ghana because there's a lot of which is good in this industry. We haven't really scratched the surface as uh, Mr. Sego was telling us earlier. We, we haven't scratched the surface. It's an area that uh, we should maximize uh, and, and the talent is all here. So I'm very, very thankful for all of you coming today and I'm looking forward to working with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think that uh, we started off with uh, the whole issue of the Copyright Act, uh, that uh, the regulations and that we need to keep updating, being a signatory um, to, to, to the international protocols and, and that I, I, I will agree with you there. And I, I think that the issue of setting up of a login uh, at the NCA uh, for both the film and music um, of course makes a lot of sense uh, that we, we can look at uh, the LI for at 935 which is uh, not yet been you know, put on the table and then I, I'm going to ask when I get back what is holding this. Uh, I think it's it, it is very, very important. Uh, I think once that LI is put on the table, it cures some of the issues that you're going to raise and allows us to move from just a film industry into a film economy, as, as you have put it. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite uh, with you on that. The issue uh, Tilly also raised was uh, let's make sure we appoint ministers who understand the industry. I think that is very, very important. And I, there's no point in putting people, I mean, we have a lot of work to do. We've got major transformation to make. So if you go and put somebody in charge of a sector that they don't really understand the sector, then there's a problem right off the bat. You will make your work 10 times more difficult uh, in that, so I think Tilly's point is a lot of makes a lot of sense. Then uh, George also raised the issue of uh, policies and laws which uh, have been passed, but the allies to back them and to make them effective have not been done. Like uh, the Creative Arts Agency, the Broadcast Bill. Uh, we'll see about how we can. Uh, put them through. I think the airline has to be laid for 21 days or so to mature. Um, so we'll, we'll have to see how we can get it done in this setting. Then the whole issue of lack of seed money for the university. And I, I think that uh, I will have to take that with the Minister for Finance to, to find out exactly why the seed money has not yet uh, Gone. You've invited me to come and see this monster, um, and I'm close by, so I, I will be happy. Uh, because what, what you are saying basically is that we could save a lot of money by rather completing that, that starting something new. And I, and, I, and I think it's also well put. Shadrach also uh, 